Well, as the recovery effort for the victims continues today, the bridge collapse will have a big economic impact on the rest of the country. Correspondent Caitlin Becker is following that angle of our coverage, joins us live on the water. And Caitlin, how will this affect Americans nationwide? Well, Nicole, it's going to have some wide ranging effects and we're not exactly sure how wide ranging that'll be just yet because we're not seeing the econ economic impacts. The port of Baltimore, which is right behind me, is closed. So that surely is going to have some sort of an impact here and it's closed indefinitely. So with the port closed and obviously the key bridge out of commission, trucks and shipping vessels are going to have to find alternative routes. I want to read for you a statement that we got from the American Trucking Associations, who tells News Nation, quote, the key bridge and port of Baltimore are critical components of our nation's infrastructure and supply chain. And consequently, this incident will have significant and long lasting impacts on the region. Now, they added that $28 billion of goods cross the key bridge every single year. Those are going to need to be rerouted, which will, of course, cause delays. But they do say that transport of hazardous materials in particular will become maybe the biggest issue. The ATA says detours of 30 miles will, quote, add significant cost in time, fuel and delays because they can't use the city's tunnels. Now, that's just the bridge. Of course, the port's closed, which means people are out of work. Some 15,000 jobs are directly supported by the port of Baltimore. It is the largest in the country. President Biden says the federal government is going to likely foot the entire bill for rebuilding that key bridge, but we don't have a timeline for when that's going to happen. And on top of the fact that it's going to have to reroute all of these trucks that can no longer use the bridge, Nicole, the bridge itself brings in money. Tens of millions of dollars are brought in for revenue for the state of Maryland. So they're going to have lost that in addition to that. So the port's right behind me. It is still open for some truck um, some truck business. You can see behind me there are some cranes that are working and moving some of those shipping containers, but they can't get on any sort of vessels here throughout this port region. And visibility is pretty low at the moment. It's kind of going in and out, and search and search is happening from the Coast Guard kind of right next to us. The bridge collapse is right over there. I don't know if we can see that. So you can kind of see that visibility is pretty bad right now but of course there's no real other traffic other than the coast guard here in these waters making it a little bit easier for them to do this search but for now we're, we haven't seen any real movement from them nicole all right caitlin becker live on the water for us there thank you thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage